Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. Your support really means a lot to me. We're going to tap into your next 72 hour energy reading. Um, see what message the spirit has for you. This is uh, tax week, personal, my for profit and my non profit. It's taking a lot, so I'm a day behind on videos. At some point, I will try my best to catch up on videos this week, but your girl moving thin. <laughs> All right. You can have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This message can resonate with you. Cross watchers are welcome. Please make sure you like the video if you are watching the video. That really means a lot to me. Drop a comment below if it, the video resonates, okay? Share the video. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Our goal, our current goal is to get to 5,000. All right. Next 72-hour energy for the collective of Aquarius spirit. Moon in reverse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. <laughs> that was a lot of cards. I's not going to take them. Depends <laughs> on how he fell out. Okay. I mean, they coming. Okay, so they tried to come right back out. Okay, okay. All right, so you have the Seven of Wands. You have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Page of Wands. Nine of, I'm sorry, nine of pinnacles. A lot of pinnacles here. Lovers in reverse. Five of pinnacles in reverse. Two of pinnacles in reverse. The devil in reverse at the bottom of the day. Mm. Her brother in the shower. So she like, <clears throat> what y'all doing? All right. so there's something that's hidden from you Aquarius something that you cannot see um I feel like you are very standoffish to everyone you could be protecting your energy from everyone you may feel like your energy is off and you don't know where it's coming from so you just like you just like man I don't trust nobody you could be being very private at this time, not telling specific details to anybody. Like, if this person is not a part of what you're doing, then you're not saying anything. Like, you're very secretive. What, girl? What? No. Go upstairs. Because I don't want to hear that. I don't know what you got going on. Um, He shut the bathroom door. So, you got to wait. Well, no, he didn't. It's still open. Um, if it, It's like you're very selective about your energy and about who you tell, right, tell anything right now. You are very guarded because it's like something, your intuition is telling you something is not right. But you just don't know. It hasn't been, like, revealed to you in reference to what's off and what's not right, what's not going right, and so on and so forth. Um... You could be, like, working on something. Like, some of you guys, like, you could be, like, trying to save money. Like, you have a job. You're trying to save money to, like, get to something or do something. But the more you save money, 
the more you try to save money and get there, it's like something keeps coming up, right? So you're you're kind of exhausted, like, oh my gosh, why can't I get to where I need to be? Why is this not happening for me? What's going on with this situation here? And and you're paying attention, like you're like, okay, should I keep investing in this because it's not going through, it's not happening for you. Um, Aquarius. It is going to happen, right? And and the thing is, faithful that work is dead. The thing is, is like you're like I'm doing everything right, but for some reason I can't keep I can't seem to save money, or you know, um, business is slow or something like that, right? Keep in mind of the planetary alignment at this time. So you're really sitting here like, what's going on? I feel like you're mentally conflicted because you're like, okay, is it this? Is it that? Like, what is it? Like, what's happening? Someone is going to reach out to you, right? If they haven't already, they're reaching out to you. Now, here's the kicker to this. Because it seems as though someone is trying to uh, attack your, your mind, right? So it's a, it's a type of magic that someone can attack your mind and make you feel like, um, in, make you have confusion. Um, and when they use this type of magic, um, this type of magic is done for someone that's trying to get into your energy that you've blocked off. And so they want to make you second guess and guess yourself. They're trying to make you weak, right? Um, and with this type of magic, you know, it doesn't penetrate one specific area. So it's like, you are indecisive on everything, but being the forward singer, seer, instead of you self-destruct, self-destructing, you're just putting back. You're hitting the pause on everything. Like, I don't know what's happening. So this message is coming in. Like this person, this person is like maybe trying to say hi. Whoever this person is um, that's reaching out to you, um, this person here is like watching you. Okay. You could be very successful. You could be independent. Um, you know, you're making things happen. You could be self-employed or you just have a lot of money, right? But you are not in tune with this person. Like maybe you've already deemed this person as a karmic or you don't know that it's a karmic, but you know, it's not right. You know, it's toxic. So you're more so like, yeah, that's just not working for me because that doesn't align with where, what I want and where I want to be. Right. So it's toxic. Right. Um, but this person is holding on because they don't really want you to leave them, leave them out in the cold. This person truly wants you and needs something from you. Right. And so this person is like, no, this person that's reaching out to you from your past is the person that is trying to do uh, a psychic attack. So what I say is when you pray in the morning, pray, you know, that, you know, your spirit guides, your Ori, if you're that deep, but if not your spirit guides protect you from psych from, from, you know, uh, psychic attacks, right? They're trying to play on your psyche. Okay. Um, they, they, they don't have any type of balance or structure in their life, but this person is like going to reach out and say, okay, I'm not juggling anymore. I don't have anyone else. Yada, yada. Your whole mission here, Aquarius is to, um, be removed from any type of toxic, you know, any type of draining, uh, situations, anything that keeps you depressed, anything, anything that keeps you in your head. So you're having the clarity. There you go. Your magician in reverse. Someone is doing this to you because they're trying to get into your energy. Whoever this person is, it's more so like, I don't feel like this person is like trying extremely hard in your face. So this person may like reach out from time to time. Uh, this person could be watching you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to bring you back into them. That generally happens when a person has a big ego. So they don't want to seem like, okay, they don't want to do too much, but we, you already see like, okay, you still reaching out to me and I keep shutting you down. Right? So you're going to, you're going to get some clarity this week coming up. Like, okay, this is what you're doing. You're trying to do something to me. Okay. You're trying to stop me. You're trying to, you know, play games with me. And it's like, whoever you are, you're so powerful that as soon as you acknowledge it and you still release it and say, you know what? No, you can't have control over my life. No. Um, 
I, I, I shoot down whatever you're trying to send my way, then there's new opportunities coming in for you again. It's like your money speeds up again, right? Um, because you're declining to work with this person. You are leaving this done. Ten of swords here, okay? Uh, King, of, King of wands, all right? Leo energy, all right? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Could be any of those, but it's like you're, you're, you're done. Ten of swords, like I'm not looking back. And it's like clearly deciding whoever this is, they have been staying in your energy, right? I've been taking breaks on the readings because I'm like, I want to read for, you know, I want to read different messages, but it's the collective that watches me. And then I know when y'all get tired of the messages because the views go down, but it's the collective that watches me that continues to get the same damn message, right? And it, obviously this means that you are not, you're not learning the lesson, right? So as the cards come out and say, you are supposed to shut this down and not entertain them in your mind, you're saying, oh, I shut this down and I'm not dealing with it. But when this person reaches out to you or this person calls you, then you still respond or you're still having conversation you have to completely cut all contact with this individual because this person is trying to undermine you okay this person wants a new beginning because they feel like this cycle isn't over this person is weighing it's weighing heavy on this person's heart you may not even know that this person is this much obsessed with you and you may not even know that the reason that things are slowing up and going crazy and you sitting here like, I'm just going to wait. It's like this person is working behind your back, trying to stop you from moving forward to something different, trying to keep you in your head to make you think that you need to revisit this situation, to make you think that whatever you were going through with this person, it has to be better than what you're going through right now, right? That's a psyche attack. This person is trying to get you to not be as strong as you are right? They want you to forget about the hurt that they've caused and do it over. But that's, that's not going to happen. You got a death card here and you got the justice card and you got the four of pinnacles and you got the eight of wands in reverse and you got the five of cups in reverse. What that's telling me is that, um, Scorpio, Pluto and Aquarius, it's time to kick in. This person is going to receive their karma based on what they've been doing to you, right? So it's like when you do the work, you're praying, um, um, what is this telling me with this, like Pluto, Pluto's going to, everything is going in your favor. Pluto is going to kick in, right? This is like this, 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 this power you're gaining this power. You are going to, you know, pull back. So that's just what it is. It's like in your mind, you've made up, I'm not going back to this person, but then you feel like you can still communicate with this person or you can still talk to this person. Your spirit guides are saying you cannot. You have to cut ties with this person 100% so that you can move on. Now you could tell yourself, oh, I'm not going to cut ties. I'm going to do a prayer so that whatever this collective that I'm reading for, I don't want to read for y'all no more. I mean, I'm just, I'm over reading for y'all. Um, this message has been here for about two weeks and it keeps coming up. This person keeps overriding your energy. And it's like when I, the next time I do a reading and this person comes in your reading, I'm not going to release it. Right. And so you will wait till the next day till I can pull up another reading and then if this person is in your reading, I'm not releasing it, right? I'm going to keep going until I change the shift because the collective is who watch me. If you don't want to do the work and if you think that you can outsmart the system and you think you can still communicate with somebody or you got self-esteem issues and you feel like you just want to talk to this person and see what they got to say or it's funny to you that this person is obsessed with you, this person is dangerous, right? You got to pull your energy away and completely stop communicating with this person. Okay, stop looking back. You, you, I want love. I want this. You gonna get that once you completely cut this out. I don't care what they message. Hey, how you doing? Nothing. It's done. It's over. You didn't get what you wanted. Block them until you can get yourself emotionally out of this situation. I'm done reading for this. I, I, I like. I really am. I'm done reading for this. Whoever this person is, they're very persistent. And they are, if they are persistent in y'all readings, they are definitely persistent in your head. So therefore, you keep coming back like, okay, what's new? My other collective, 
they like, well, it ain't me, da da da. Whoever this fire sign is, or this person with fire in a prominent placement in your chart, they're living in your energy. And they're living in your energy, trying to communicate with you telepathically to get you to think about them, to get you to reach out to them. It's not going to happen. As soon as you stop communicating with them, as soon as they think, as soon as you think about them, you cut that thought out. You are no longer looking back at this situation. You're no longer stressed. You're no longer in this situation. You're no longer thinking about them. That's when your love is coming in. That's when your happiness is coming in. That's when that partner that you want is coming in. And it can't come in until then. It can't come in until then. Like, it just can't. And, and I, for one, am over <laughs> reading about this, this fire sign, whoever this is. Fire signs are very persistent, right? Like, and, and at the end of the day, if they don't serve you any good, then... Why are you even entertaining it, right? We got to stop doing things just because and do things for the cause. Oh, well, that's my friend. And even though we didn't work, I still want to communicate where well, you're not learning the lesson that you need to learn. So you need to stop watching me, right? Because I'm here for the people that want to grow. I don't want to keep reading the same messages for people stuck in their head, feeling like they can do what they want to do. But then you want to come watch free tarot to try to get answers to something that you're not going to get answers to. It's not going to work out how you think it's going to work out. Let it go. Anytime this thing come up, because I pre-record these readings, then I put them out. I do these readings about 30 minutes before they go out. If they come up in the reading again, I'm not reading it. Soon as I see them, I'm, I'm, I'm shutting it down. Nope. Need a whole new... I done went through several different decks. If y'all go back into these readings, um, in this video, in the last two weeks, I just, I keep changing my decks. Like, I want something different. Your spirit guys want you to know, you got to do something different. Person can't take over your energy if you don't allow them. Keep these people out your energy. I only want to read for the people that truly want to grow and develop. I don't want to read for people that feel like they're going to find their own way in life, but you you seek an enlightenment, but you're still going to do your own thing. So you go in the circles. No. you stagnant. I don't want to I don't want to work with you if you're stagnant. You need to be ready to unlearn your ways and relearn your ways. Align with your life purpose. You're fired. Some of you guys could be losing a job. Some of you guys could be heeding this message and cutting this person off completely. No communication. Taking them off your social medias. Everything. Block, blackout. Okay? Yeah. Someone's having sexual fantasies about you. All right? Uh, there will be a reason to celebrate. Okay? Something's coming up here um, over the next, uh, within the next week. Okay, boss vibes, okay, runs on business, stable, multifaceted, busy. Okay, so you could be having a win in your business uh, life. Okay, you're hiding from your true self, all right? Wrong way, the direction you're going in is the wrong way, all right? Some of you guys have gotten over something, but then you keep thinking about them, like letting them back in because they're trying to attack your psyche and they're doing things to like keep you in there, keep, keep, keep you in their energy and vice versa. And it's like, no, no, shut it down. Like, no, nothing's changed. Something significant about New Year's, okay? Bad reputation, bad habits. Um, somebody's prickly, wasting time. No changes. Stuck, no changes, limited. Nothing has changed. Absolutely nothing has changed. Shook, the information may leave you shook about this fact. No facts, never has facts, make stuff up, uninterested. All right, so... Um... Yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta step it up, okay? Step it up, do what you gotta do. So so, and I'm gonna tell you briefly. So this is what your spirit guys do, right? Just how I'm tired of reading on this. Um, as we teach in Ephah, you can change anything about your life other than the date you were born and the date that you leave here, right? And out of all of the Orishas and all of your ancestors, the only one. That will never leave you is your ori, is your head. So you always need to be in tune with your head. We often a, a ori class on the 11th and the 12th that starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
go to my website. It's in the description box below. Sign up for the Ori class. If you are conflicted, if you feel like you're under mental attack, if you feel any of these, sign up for the Ori class. That's going to help. You need to keep your head straight here. Because what happens is, like how I'm shutting this out now, this being my last reading that I even want to mention any of this, your spirit guys get tired too. And they say, okay, well, you don't get it. So they throw their hands up and then they leave you and you stuck. And then you're like, oh, nobody's listening to me. No, because when we tried to guide you, you didn't want to be guided. So now that you read it, don't mean that we coming right back, right? That's how this works. And then you have some that um, will get upset because you're wasting their time. And guess what? They will trickle this down into other avenues of your life, right? You had some, something to celebrate, okay, and then you're fired. Some of you guys, you're not paying attention and cutting cutting this loose. You could see uh, challenges in your income, right? Challenges with your job, right? This does not this does not stop here, okay? For those of you that got the lesson that cut this person off, that's shutting them out, then you're seeing wins. You have to put in the work. This is your mission. Nobody, nobody owes you anything. So when people sit down and be like, well, why they ain't help me? You, you getting the help. You're just not, uh, you, you just want to do what you want to do. And because you're doing what you want to do, you're wasting your spirit guys time and you wasting my time. Right. So, um, yeah. Well, if you watching this and made it this far, right. <laughs> Put some exclamation marks in the comments. This is the last reading that I'm about to do in a while on this energy. Because that means that somebody is not learning. Whatever collective this is, you watching me saying, I get it, but I just can't let go. Listen, with let go of my channel, right? Don't don't watch me. <laughs> don't watch me for a minute. Because I want to do something, I want to do something completely different than what we're doing right here. And I'm I'm tired of this person, whoever they is. Okay. You you got the you got the want it. All right. So that's your reading. Uh, I will see you guys back. I'll try to get you a couple more readings out this week, long as it's not this. Um, I may even change up the structure uh, and just do Oracle Oracle decks because I've done one, two, three, four, four different decks for y'all, and this keeps coming up. So this person is determined that they are going to make you submit to them, right? They're they're determined that they're going to stay in your energy, and 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 nobody rules in Aquarius. How does that work, right? Okay, ah, uh, shame. <laughs>